Hello my soccer universe and now for the long form review of what happened uh, during the week in European qualifying for the Champions League, the Europa League and of course the Europa Conference League and we'll go in that order again. Um, I have to say I watched uh, you know um, goal shows for both qualifying um, days for the champ champions league and i saw the austrian games for the europa and the europa conference league uh so that's where the focus will be but we'll look at all the results um i have to say some of the champions league qualifying games were real fun there was a lot of action happening the austrian part as you if you've seen the short video um i was kind of so sovereign because no one really played good no one really played play good, but you got at least yeah, a win, a draw, and a loss. So, you know, you have the full range there. And I still maintain, maintain there will probably be only four teams in uh, Europe, which is anyway the high watermark for Austria. Five would be sensational, but given how they have been performing, better four only. Better four only, I think, for the reputation. But we will start a Champions League uh, playoff, and I want to start in Copenhagen. Copenhagen, <laughs> uh, between Copenhagen and Trabzonspor. I think this was the only match that um, those two teams were already qualified for that stage and they were drawn against each other, which is always a little bit uh, weird to, to, to me. Atmosphere, absolutely crazy what the uh, Copenhagen fans were, were doing with the jumping and, you know, hold, holding up the shirts. And so I was really, really impressed by the other Trabzonspor fans, also kind of um, Turkish fans in general. Are very emotional. Uh, the game for a long time went in Copenhagen's uh, favor with Klassen getting a very early goal, wonderful assisting work by Falk. Uh, they had a few challenges there. Um, Trabzonspor was definitely the more, uh, you know, technically gifted team, but with the pure power, uh, Copenhagen actually had them on, under control. And right after the half, Leoraga make, 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 makes it 2 0. At that point, you really were fearing, ooh, is this gonna go the wrong way? However, then uh, with a few changes, especially uh, bringing on Magpatra and Bardi, you know, and those are all uh, players that you actually know. Uh, Trabzonspor support got into the, into the game and then uh, Paul Paul went through Bacasetas and probably could have even equalized there. But I think on balance of the game, I think the result is just about right. I personally do not know which team I would want to go into the Champions League. I just enjoy it. A uh, really uh, interesting and atmospheric tide was also a Dutch duel on the, on the bench with a Dutch team involved. Of course, we're talking about uh, Van Broncos against Van Nistelrooy. PSV against Rangers uh, had so many twists and turns. Yes, uh, PSV again, the, the slightly, uh, the team with slightly more finesse, however, the pure power and the will of the supporters behind ra makes Rangers a formidable side to uh, play against. I thought that at the moment, uh, and, and you know, uh, Rangers had a few penalty calls, but at the moment where you thought that Rangers are going to take the lead, you know, it's Sangare who gets the lead for PSV. Then you think PSV is gone in, in, in control. Uh, Jolak, just a few minutes later, can equalize after a nice assist by Tav uh, Tavernier. So it was a rather even ha first half, slight advantage in possession for Ra Rangers, a few penalty calls, but I think overall just about all right. But you know, it was not, not straight, uh, straightforward everything. Um, however, come the second half, you really had the feeling that PSV is in full control of, of, of the game. And then Lauren scores and a howler by the goalie. However, a few minutes later, um, Obispo equalizes, uh, I think it was a Hakpo corner, uh, and heads it in. And then again, slightly more control for PSV. But that ties very much in, in the balance, as you would have seen, said from the beginning. Uh, really curious what will come out of there. And then way up north, we had Bode uh, taking on Dinamo Zagreb and largely being the better team, taking a deserved lead through Pellegrino. However, Zagreb missed a few big chances in the second half as well. So yeah, um, a rather interesting uh, tie there. I actually think that Dinamo's, Dinamo should turn it around in the second leg because I think they're a little bit more talented. It will be fun with Bode in the Champions League, that's for sure. Karabakh against uh, Pilsen, and please, it's 
Pilsen, like the beer, not Pilsen or whatever. I, I just hate it when, when people just, it's Pilsen, Pilsen, that easy. And the beer is right from there. The Pilsner beer comes from Pilsen. It is that simple. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in any case, I think the first of them was kind of Antonio Karabag, uh, sometimes threatening and being really lively, but the longer the game went, the, um, you know, the more the teams were kind of, yeah, zero, zero, zero. I guess the heat also played a huge factor there. The wildest game for sure was between Maccabi, if and Jervena Svesta, where I gotta say for a long time, in the first half, uh, Jovenas Vista did not show up and uh, Maccabi, if he took uh, deservedly through Pierrot, uh, had the game under con 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 control and then Pesic uh, gets an equal equalizer and then suddenly, and this was a deflected shot of his look, and then suddenly it was kind of more even, uh, Jovenas Vista was kind of getting a little bit better and then they even take the lead through Kanga. Uh, however, right after Pierrot, again, Ike equals in, uh, Chiari in the 61st, so very short, turns the game, giving a camera. It was a really wild game, up and down. Also, like the jersey matchup, green against blue is something you don't see very, very, very often. Uh, green, white against blue, white, red. So, really, really, uh, also visually appealing. A wild game, it seems to be wide, wide open, those two sides. Uh, really both could make it into the Champions League and it will be uh, curious to see uh, who will go because um, the defensive front is with Jovenas Vesta against this Maccabi Haifa um, team will a little bit be weird uh, to see. And then uh, Benfica absolutely controlling. I mean, I expected Benfica to be the better team against Dinamo, Dinamo Kiev, but I did not expect him to be uh, that good. Yes, maybe Dinamo could have scored, but I think all over the 2-0 could have been worse, uh, honestly. Um, while Dinamo tried to get a game going, uh, the ball comes through Joao Mario to Gilberto, who just yanks a shot in through the legs of a defender. I mean, uh, barely touching his balls. Going far, uh, far in the goalie, then uh, gets a hand, and unsavable. Uh, one of those shots, <clears throat> really good. And then, uh, as soon as Ramos makes it, uh, 2 0 after nice that uh, David David Neres assist. Yes, there was a really bad back pass preceding that from Dinamo Kiev. So basically, shoes themselves in their own uh, foot. Honestly, uh, this was a very, very, very impressive by uh, Dinamo Kiev. Um, so with those games, we have here the return legs. It's, it's again, the games we had on Wednesday will be then played on Tuesday. So we have, uh, and at the moment, I still think they're all at nine, but this may change. Um, so Juventus, Benfica, Pilsen, uh, will have home, 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 and then I think the slightly more, uh, interesting games, because, uh, if I look, look at it, uh, yeah, the slightly more interesting will be then on Wednesday, and I especially look at PSV against the Rangers because those are two teams that both probably would deserve to go into the Champions League. Moving on to Europa League qualification, uh, I think it was a great day for Cyprus. I mean, Apollo won one against Olympiakos. We'll see. We have Ferenc Varsh, big win over Shamrock Rovers, kind of expected. Uh, Helsinki against Silkeborg, the first game, 1 0, and Malmö against Sivasport. This is also something, something you didn't expect. Uh, I want to see whether Punic or Sheriff will make it a probable. Sheriff will make it in the round. Zurich had a rare win, 2 1 over Hearts. Uh, Ludogorets 1 0 over Jalgiris. Dnipro, that was un unexpected to me. Lose 2 1 at home to Larnaca and also Omonia 2 0 at hand. That is pretty impressive, I gotta I, 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 I say. So, we have quite some Cypriot teams in, in India, and yes, there was a big Cypriot, there were four Cypriot teams playing. I, of course, saw Austria Vienna against Fenerbahce, and while they were trying, everything went against them. And I have to, have to say, this was one of the hottest atmosphere that I've seen in Austria for a while. I mean, yes, there are many Turkish people living in Vienna, so the Fenerbahce sector was full. There were flares thrown everywhere, and then even, uh, except for the fans then for Austria Vienna, the rest was also rather intermingled. There were a few times when the, uh, uh, the stewards had to come in and separate people fighting. Uh, there was, uh, it, it was rather embarrassing. There was a drumstick thrown at the Turkish goalie. I think Austria Vienna will pay for that dearly. Uh, the Turkish fans also, you know, running flares. It was a rather tough atmosphere and people running on, on to the pitch. It was wild. It was absolutely wild. 
the game itself, I said, as much as Austria Vienna tried, and if I look at this lineup for Fenerbahce, I was actually quite in impressed as well. That they have no chance, and you saw it when Rossi played it to King, who just flies by the, uh, the defender, then a nice finish in the ninth minute. Uh, yes, there was a good chance for Austria Vienna just before the half to maybe equalize, but the header was pulled wide, but in the end, Without really exerting themselves, themselves too much, Fenerbahce uh, got a 2 0 win. Uh, then to Durdurs, and again, defensive Freyfeld is uh, Lucas Galvao was sent off for Austria Vienna in the 83rd with a second uh, yellow. So, you know, wasn't their day, didn't go all their way, and um, very well deserved for. Uh, the return legs uh, of the Europa League, and I gotta say, Europa League qual qualifying does, does, doesn't seem all that, that, that exciting. You see here the games, they are all played on Thursday. Um, first set, set, set of games, there are quite some, a few early games. Um, I probably will again see Fenerbahce against Austria Vienna, but I'm not sure how much I will watch that. I think it's Hearts against Zurich that is the most interesting one uh, there, and maybe Olympiakos against uh, Apollon. Would also be interesting too. Okay, moving further to the Conference League, and there I have a little bit more, more to say. I think a rather remarkable result is, um, no, two remarkable results on this first page. ZSK Sofia beating Basel, did not necessarily expect it, although Basel is a little bit of trouble, but Maccabi Tel Aviv beating uh, Nice, I did not expect that. I, of course, saw Molde against Wolfsburg, and I gotta tell you, Wolfsburg took the lead with the first shot on goal. It was that bad. I mean, Molde had an enormous amount of corners and the commentators were saying, okay, this is now it's getting already uncomfortable, really. But then a uh, wide kick on goal um, goes out, I think, to Tafiana, who, 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 who the Croatian Baribo heads it in. Completely stunning Molde. And they held out. I mean, the goalie made some miracle saves, uh, but overall, I think Molde should have gotten at least a draw, if not more, out of out of that. It's not a good performance uh, from uh, VAC, as we call it in Austria. Uh, a really surprising result to me was Slovacko against um, Aika. Uh, 3-0. Did not expect it. I was a little bit gutted by Young Boys losing 1-0 to Anderlecht. You know, I like uh, my Young Boys. Uh, East uh, Bajakshi here against uh, Antwerp 1-1. Everything still to play for there. And then we had Vaduz against Rapid Vienna. The ninth of the second place of the second tier in Switzerland against, uh, I think now, third place team in Austria. And Vaduz was so unlucky and it was so undeserved that they did not win this game. They, two good calls had been ruled out by the referee for, for, for them. Rapid Vienna was abject. I think if this was had been 3 0 at the half, it would have been totally deserved for Vaduz. Again, ninth place team in the second Swiss tier. It's like, it, 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 it boggles the mind. What Rapid showed was a disgrace to not only the shirt of Rapid, but for all the, Austri the Austrian league. Uh, absolutely disgraceful. Uh, and for me, what was even more disgraceful was the refereeing. The uh, Valadus took the early lead through Ulrich, and then um, what, 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 what was the Austrian player's name uh, in there? Just look it up. Um, Sutter. He took a shot, it hits the crossbar, goes behind the line, goes up to the crow, 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 out the crossbar, out again. There is physically no other way this can happen. It was like uh, the goal in Wembley. It goes crossbar down behind the line, up on the crossbar and out. And he lets play on. If you see just the first re replay, it's clearly over the line. This should have counted. And then the second one, yes, Rapid then came out of the uh, half, played completely differently, brought on Drive, brought on Damia, uh, and our sold out to give a little bit more punch, and they get duly the equalizer after a nice footwork by Damia and Ferry Drive uh, making a shot outside. So like for 15, 20, 20 minutes, Rapid look, look good. And then again, a uh, corner kick, free header into the net. And it's not given because Arguably, Sutta standing in front of the Rapid goalkeeper, but there is no way, there is absolutely no way that he is saving that. This was an absolute disgrace that this goal is going to win. But those players are uh, celebrating, they were so unlucky then. 
and repeat so lucky of getting this one one draw a draw that they did not deserve uh, absolutely uh Köln also uh but that was a weird, 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 weird game i didn't see it uh, they took the uh lead through deeds in the 14th but then had a player sense sense and off in the 20th and then um Fehava turns around to see uh uh and uh Paldara, i think just before before the call can come back that is a stunning result to be honest um also for me stunning was viking winning a uh, star what is Technically, Star, uh, Star Bucharest. Um, Via Real found themselves down very quickly against Hyde. Hyde had split in the second. However, uh, by halftime, they had a four for former lead with Morales scoring two, Moreno one, and then an own goal in there as well. However, Hyde puts one back uh, late on. So, will be in, in, in interesting if that uh, goal will count for something. Uh, for West Ham, uh, Skamaka scores his first goal uh, for the Hammers. Uh, Jerry Jerry Bowen uh, had to win Antonio all. Also, it was 2-1 at one point, but you know, should, should have been easy. At Z, a uh, pretty big win over Gilles Vicente with David scoring a brace and then uh, Lachto and Pavlidis. Also among the goals, goal cross curse and Fiorentina 2-1 over 20. They had a 2 0 lead at halftime through Gonzalez and Cabral. Uh, and then Czerny pulls one back in the 64th. Also, kind of interesting to see. I think a 2 0 for Fior Fiorentina, they would have felt much safer. The 2 1, mm -hmm, I think 20 could turn this around. I think they, they would be tell talented enough. And yeah, uh, since I wanted Levski to win over Hamron, Partizan duly beat them 4 4 1. They're not that good. And yeah, I heard that there was uh, quite some controversy with the equalizing goal for Hamron uh, in Sofia. To make it into overtime. In any case, uh, we have uh, show you here the upcard the games that um, will happen next week. I think there are kind of a few interesting ones, the ones that are highlighted uh, throughout that uh, will be really, really, really in in interesting. So if I chance to watch, I probably will only be able to see the Austrian games. Maybe I can watch Kern at Fehava, which is also interesting. In any case, as you see, I have not seen all the games. If you watched any, uh, any, anything you want to add something, please uh, leave a comment below. I'm really in, interested to hear from you. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.